Hey y'all, hey, welcome back. Let's go ahead and tap into your energy, Virgo. We're gonna see what's going on with you and your person. Let's see what's happening between you guys, okay? This is gonna be for you and whoever it is that you may have on your mind. You know, I got the sage. I just don't know what might come out. You know how we do in the evening, okay? This is your bonus read. This is gonna be a um, nightcap reading for you guys. I hope everybody is feeling amazing. Hi, my loves. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, let's see. Let's start with these cards here. All right, guys. Hi to my subscribers and my family members, my new um comers. Thank you for joining. All right, thank you guys for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Oh, thank you for your donations. I'll be getting some extra donations today. Thank you guys. Y'all surprising me. I appreciate it. I love you guys. And if you're waiting for your reading, just continue to be patient. I got you. Some of you guys are going to be getting your readings tonight, okay? Let's dive in, guys. Check the other videos that I posted previously for your prayer. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit guys, thank you for clearing concise message for my Virgo lovies. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, baby, wherever you have Virgo in your chart, this is the family for you. Okay, Spirit, thank you for blocking and binding all monitoring spirits, familiar and unfamiliar spirits, away from our channel and off of our path. Amen. Let's see. For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, overall energy, please. I feel like you had to set the record straight. I feel like something about somebody getting their facts straight. You had to set the record straight. Maybe you had to stand up for yourself and let somebody know what you're not going to deal with. Oh. Pregnancy. Someone is expecting. All right. So, honestly, I got to be real with you. Somebody is pregnant and you don't know you're pregnant. You definitely need to take a test. Somebody is pregnant and you don't know that you're pregnant, okay? Confession. And it looks like you're going to be telling somebody or somebody has something to tell you. All right? Underneath the bottom of the deck, um, this reading is going to be about some type of confession. Opening up about something or somebody letting you know something. Somebody could have somebody pregnant as well. All right? Gambling. So somebody is definitely taking a risk. Somebody could have a problem with addictions or bad finances taking a chance. All right? With this gambling card, they could have been gambling in this relationship as well. Somebody is really cutting it close when it comes to somebody else. And then somebody has somebody pregnant as well. This could be you guys, whoever's watching me. Take it how it resonates, guys. This is very general for a personal closer than number two. MyDestiny.com is where you book it if you're moved to do so. All right. But for my males, um, somebody could be hiding a pregnancy. Or somebody could be plotting, trying to get pregnant, taking a risk, all right? Um, this is saying something about your, you and your partner maybe physically or emotionally distant. Somebody could have pulled away as soon as they found this out. I feel like somebody is going to tell somebody that they're pregnant. Maybe somebody is trying to plot on somebody. Maybe it's a scheme. Oh, man. Hopefully not. I've been getting that. Like somebody's trying to trap somebody with a child or something like that. Mm. I think about everything you said, it haunts me. That's the first card that came out. And I'm going to call you, message you soon, I miss you. Something happened here. It was some type of fallout. <clears throat> Somebody wants to confess how they really feel, tell the truth, or something like that. I feel like you told somebody something. I told you. It feels like somebody is, I keep getting the energy and I got it even before I sat down of somebody needing to get their facts straight. Or you helping somebody get their facts straight. It's like they learned their lesson now. They want to talk to you. They want to talk to you about this. And somebody also, um, Virgos, they can't stand being distant from you. This energy had me talking all hard. Like, <laughs> it's because it's serious. Like, it's like you weren't playing with them. Like, somebody got somebody all the way together. What does that mean? Set the record straight. And that's what I keep feeling. So let's use my um, Love and War deck. If you want to get your Love and War deck, you can get it now. Check us out on Etsy as well, guys. Um, don't forget to follow us on all social media platforms. We are on TikTok. We are on 
Facebook under closer closer no under Empress Meek. Um and we're also on Instagram under closer to my destiny T with the T on the end. All right. Um let's see. We're on Twitter under closer to my destiny. No. Yeah, I'm on Twitter too. But we're on TikTok under closer to my destiny. So join our platform, guys. I post on TikTok like every other day or something like that. My person is toxic. I only stay because I can do what I want when I want. Yeah, somebody is in some type of um, situation. And they're taking a risk with you, Virgo. Or they want to. Mm. Somebody's going to be telling something. So I really feel like you let this person know. I only want your money. I constantly play you. You're not my type, boo. Third party spying, getting readings, karmic spying. So, hmm. Let me just take a second. Let's see what I feel. Somebody is jealous doing spell work, protect your energy. Somebody could be jealous that you're pregnant, trying to stop you from getting pregnant or trying to wish bad on you during your pregnancy or this is. Somebody has a third party that knows you're pregnant or this third party is pregnant and trying to keep you away from their person or maybe they already have somebody's children, but this says somebody isn't expecting. Whoo, child. <laughs> See, I knew I needed the sage. I'm telling you. All right, at nighttime is when all the stuff come out, all this, all the tea gets spilled everywhere. All right, so with this, let's let's just get the cards. Let's get the cards because I want to know. And real quick, let me get some messages from whoever this person is that might be surrounding you. Real quick, let's just get some messages because who is this? We're gonna find out who is this jealous doing spell work as well. What kind of spell work? We're going to find out. I got the right cards to do it. Let's see. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, show us clear messages. How is this person feeling toward my Virgo? What is going on with this person that we're talking about here? Thinking about Virgo, about to call them. Like, what's happening here? What is this person feeling toward Virgo? Space. Somebody needs more time to think. Or you need more time to think. But this is how they're feeling. So they needed more time to think. And they're going to call you soon. They just needed some time trying to process everything here. This person is under stress. That's what I'm saying. Like, this person is going through a lot. They're dealing with the feelings that they have for you. And they're dealing with a whole nother situation. Some of you already know that. You know that. And you know this person is under stress. You care for this person. I want to call you and hear your voice. Some type of conversation needs to be had. This person doesn't want you to lose love for them. They don't want you to forget about them. Cause they've been getting on my nerves a little bit keep trying to get me to do a reading and i was doing something else but i was like okay let me come and tell virgo what's happening here because i keep feeling like you had to set the record straight and then after that reading that we did earlier and the energy that came out i was like well i want to check on virgo anyway let me see what's going on with my lovey so i'm like all right i'm gonna do another one and here go this person <clears throat> wanted me to give you their messages all right, unfinished business. We still have things to resolve and discuss. Exactly. This is exactly what I've been feeling. Um, but I feel like you got them together, though. I feel like you definitely set, you stood your ground and set some boundaries. And also let this person know your expectations and what you expect to happen. Third party, there were other things that got in the way of us being together. All right, so there is somebody else and this person is trying to let you know that it's not that they don't care for you It's just that there was no way Like they they had to pull away to try to focus on stuff and balance things out with this reunion card We will always come back together. This person really does care for you And I feel like that's too bad because you don't want to be a part of a karmic relationship They also feeling like you're inseparable. They said our love is always there despite the distance so somebody wants you to know that even though there's distance between you guys, they still love you so much. They love you a lot. All right. They really do care about you. And then we have daydreaming. They're always thinking about you. And they're always thinking about the things that you said. So 
I feel like the things that you told this person, you really got, you really put things into perspective, and I feel like you made them check this out. All right, you sent this person back to the drawing board to figure some things out and set some things straight because you're not trying to deal with somebody who's in this energy where they're out with everybody or they're already seeing somebody. Where's our cards? What are we going to use? Let's use this deck. Yes. Okay, let's start with somebody's, um, let's start with somebody's jealous going forward. Let me get that back real quick. Hold on, guys. Let's see what this person's issue is. Third party jealous doing spell work. It says somebody is jealous doing spell work. Protect your energy. And this person wants to know, will you ever be able to forgive me? I love you. <clears throat> so let's see. Who's doing spell work on my Virgo? Someone rising Venus and North Node. Who's doing spell work toward Virgo? For somebody, it's a mother figure. That's so sad. But it, I'm getting that. Definitely has something to do with this pregnancy. It could be just sending bad energy, manipulation. But let's see, who's doing spell work to a Virgo and what's their motive? Who's doing spell work to a Virgo and what's their motive? Who's doing spell work? Who's doing spell work? Too many. Anything else? Who's doing spell work to a Virgo and what's their motive? Who's doing spell work to a Virgo? And what's their motive? That's too many. Okay. Oh. Okay. Spirit want all these out. Let's talk about this person doing spell work real quick and then we'll move on. Make sure that you keep your energy protected. How do you do that? You pray over yourself. Simple as that. Believe it or not, it works. That's your protection. <clears throat> All right, y'all. So, someone is doing spell work, protect your energy. First things first, it says backstabber. We'll do anything to get their way. Next, blocked. It says you are protected from their energy. They can't come through, period. Some people are just that miserable. Mental breakdown. They are losing it without your energy. Mm-hmm. So I feel like your ancestors are going to tear them a new one if they try to step into your energy again. Conversation starter. They always need to check up on you for new ideas. Hmm. Three, three, three. You could be seeing this number if you're seeing three, three, three. Your guardians are by your side to assist you. All right. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Spirit guides, mountains are being moved for you by your team. Boom. We love it. Let's go, angels. Thank you. Fear tactics, trying to intimidate you. I picked up on this energy earlier, and I almost put it in the, the title. Overactive solar. It says they regret it, but refuse to show it. Mm-hmm. So it's like this person is a coward. They can't even admit when they're wrong. They can't admit their faults. This is the type of person that does something. You can even watch this person just have a complete met meltdown and lose their mind. And then they'll act like they're completely sane. Nothing ever happened. Nothing. They never failed. They never got hurt. Nothing. Like, this person is a damn lunatic. Okay. Fate. It says, you are their karma. Do what you need to. Mm-hmm. So, stand your ground, guys. Stand your ground exactly what you need to do whatever you need to do to protect yourself from that person's energy all right all right so let's get into it let's see if we can find out who that is and then we're going to move on through these cards here i'm going to make this one shorter oh crap all right let's change that because one foul let's 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 use the deck i love i really like this deck 
All right, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels for Virgo. Clarify this message for us. Who is this person sending negative energy? Who's the third party? Who's this person? Queen of Pentacles. It's a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo sending you this negative energy. So protect yourself, okay? All right. Now, pregnancy. I only want your money. I constantly put I, I constantly play you or you're not my type. All right. So somebody could be dealing with somebody that they're just playing. You just in it for the money. You taking a risk. You know you are. If you get found out, then that can mean all hell breaking loose. But somebody here is only in it for the thrill. <laughs> <laughs> only in it for the money okay somebody definitely is and somebody could be married dealing with somebody married somebody could be lying saying they're pregnant so they can get money something going on around this pregnancy um for those of you who if it's you're not the female that's pregnant watching me um even if you are you could be dealing with somebody just to get their money but something's going on with somebody trying to blame a child on somebody or somebody trying to keep somebody from getting pregnant problems with addictions bad gambling and finances somebody is extremely distracted this person is distracted they have a lot going on they got their addictions they got other people they got bad money problems so they can't see this gift that you're trying to offer them um, for some of you guys, you want this person to leave their person or somebody has been leading you on trying to make you believe that they're available when they're not available. Don't fall for that sugar, honey, iced tea. Y'all know better. Spine getting reading. Somebody could know you watch tarot. They could be watching tarot too. Somebody's third party. Who's the third party? Somebody could be dealing with a water sign. Dang on. Knight of Pentacles. Y'all know so. <laughs> This could be a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Spying, getting greetings. Somebody's keeping a close eye on you. You refuse this person's offer or you won't take the bait. Somebody's trying to convince you of something that they did. But they're trying to convince you that they didn't do it. Well, they're trying to convince you to believe a lie. <laughs> it's not working. So you got this toxic female queen of pentacles energy. Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo trying to do spell work on you and trying to get into your energy this person is about to suffer big time and hopefully you get a front row seat um and then you got this king of this knight of pentacles a younger taurus capricorn of virgo who offer you a refusing that keeps spying on you and this person could also be trying to get readings to keep up show me distance all right, you got somebody thinking about you passionately. They're going to call you. Somebody wants to talk to you. They said they miss you. All right, you could be dealing with a fire sign that's gone ghost. This person's gone quiet. Or either, I feel like this is this could be the person that you really told off. Because you told somebody off. Like, you really, and they're thinking about the things that you said. It's like, intuitively what I'm getting is, you're right about how I should be treating you. You're right about what you deserve. You're right about setting standards and setting firm boundaries in place for, for me. Like, this is how, how they're feeling. This is what they're saying to you. This is their energy. So their energy reads, I regret that I didn't speak to you about how I was really feeling. I held my feelings. I didn't say anything. I waited way too late. Somebody also was saying, I know you deserve more. Than what I can give you right now. I know you deserve the best. You deserve to be treated. Like royalty. Because I don't want to say king or queen. But I heard you deserve to be treated like a queen. A king. This is a man's voice. But it doesn't have to be a male. That's probably just how I'm hearing it. It could definitely be a female in her masculine energy. Not that she sound like testosterone voice or nothing like a man. But she could just be taking action and very um, stern about how she feels. And want, not wanting to miss this opportunity. Okay. But somebody definitely is thinking about you. Somebody is thinking about you deeply. Contemplating on this. Trying to figure out a strategy. Strategizing. Trying to see... How they're going to go about doing this. Somebody has something to tell you. Let's see what's the energy of the page of wands. Dang. This person feels betrayed. This person feels betrayed. Or they betrayed you. What's the ten of swords? 
kept you waiting. All right, so either you're you're keeping this person waiting. Let me let me read this card under here again. I'm gonna message you soon. I miss you. They feel like you betrayed them. They're waiting on an opportunity to come back. You shined your light on them. You know this person was tricky. Like what they're doing is tricky. Whoever this is, if this is not a younger fire sign, um, this is somebody who is thinking about you sexually. Yep, this is somebody thinking about you sexually. Um, and you know that they're very flighty with their energy. It's very scattered energy. Um, this pe person is premature. It's like premature passion. It's like they're immature with their love. The way they love. Like they're not dedicated. They just want to have fun basically. And you figured this out. This is why you told them. And they think about everything you said. You were right all along. For you it was a necessary ending. You're like no nah, we need to get get rid of this this is over okay so that's how you feel about this person yeah you figured them out what did you say to them what did virgo say you told this person they're a manipulator they um they misuse their power what else and you also told them that they have you waiting you told them that you're not going to be in your head waiting for them you don't want to be stressed you don't want to be worried. You don't want to be bothered with this. You also told them that you feel like they are taking advantage. And they didn't use the opportunity that they had to make good of this investment. And you also told them five of cups that they they messed up. They really did mess up. You told them that you're holding back. You're going to do what's best for you. Wow, you told them this over. This cycle is over. Dang. Oh, well, that's what you said. My person is toxic. I only stay with them. So what, what is this confession? What does this person want to say to Virgo? I feel like this is it right here. We have unfinished business. What's this person saying to Virgo? They're soul searching. Somebody wants you to wait. Just wait. Give it time. They want to be with you. They want this relationship. <laughs> they feel like you're very attractive. Or they feel burdened by the person that they're with. They don't want to burden you by being, making you a third party. Or they feel very burdened by the person that they're with. And somebody is telling you that they're about to leave this person for good. I feel like you heard that before. Eight of Swords energy. This person is feeling like they're trapped in a situation that they no longer want to be in. Yep, they're in this living situation. And Four of Pentacles, they, but they're holding, on. it's like they're, they're holding on to you though. They're saying that they're not going anywhere. <laughs> that is crazy. You like, no, you betrayed me. I feel defeated in this situation. Three's a crowd, like, and I feel like you're just being very underhanded, doing whatever. Six of swords. You said I'm moving on to calmer waters. I'm done. I know that's right. Time to let this go, Virgo. That's your reading. This is what's going on between you and your person, or this is how this person is feeling about you. Hopefully, this conversation helped, um, just brought you clarity and shined the light on your situation. All right, guys, this reading went longer than I expected. I love you guys, and hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Let me know in the comments what you think about it and if it helped you bring clarity to your situation, if it brought some clarity. All right, guys. All right, I will see you later. Enjoy the rest of your evening.